How does the RTI framework intersect with the Common Core State Standards Initiative? Okay, so the Common Core State Standards and RTI, really in simple terms, is a connection between what students ought to be able to know and do in order to be college and career ready, that is your Common Core State Standards, and the RTI is really the how schools go about providing that additional support that students need in order to, to close those learning gaps that they might have. Uh, for those two initiatives to work really well together, obviously teachers need to know the Common Core State Standards that they teach and they need to know their students really well, knowing their strengths and knowing their needs, the gaps that they have. Needless to say, uh, districts, uh, schools, school personnel, really need to work together so that they can utilize data, provide training for teachers, and support teachers both in the Common Core and in RTI. So these Common Core state standards are a set of what we call rigorous and ambitious standards. They have high cognitive demand for all of their students, for all students, and these are standards that are expected to place every child on a trajectory that are uh, that, so that they can be successful for college and for a career. The standards require really deep uh, learning of concepts and skills and also the application of those. So therefore, schools must respond likewise. The schools must have rigorous, robust support systems in place, really both for teachers and for the students. That's really where RTI comes in. It's what we call uh, a, a very comprehensive research-based approach framework, if you will, that allows schools, allows teachers to use the data to identify where those learning gaps are. So to help schools transition successfully to these, you know, to teaching these standards, a variety of support systems must be in place, and we think RTI is one of those support systems. Implementation of the essential components of RTI, and those essential components are screening, progress monitoring, database decision making, and a multi-level prevention system, provide schools with um, this approach. And the goal of this framework, RTI, is to help every student to access the grade level standards um, in a very strong and effective core instructional program, standards-based, data-driven and responsive to student needs. So the effective use of data from these multiple uh, assessment measures allows teachers, again, to make really good decisions about what they're teaching their students so that they don't necessarily teach students what they already know, but they really focus on the things they don't know. And again, identify, especially for struggling students, students who are not accessing grade level content well, helping teachers to identify where those gaps or holes are in their needs. Uh, I'm going to give a couple of examples. Um, for example, um, we know that for students to respond critically to what they read or view or hear, they have to be able to apply other um, reading skills. So students, for example, have to be able to read fluently in order to comprehend, in order to think critically about what the author is saying. Um, and so uh, those are the type of um, in, uh, foundational skills, if you will, that teachers must know that students actually need in order to be able to target those specific skills, again, to help them better access grade level content. Um, in the Common Core State Standards, um, disciplinary liter literacy is really a major focus. It requires students to apply very specific literary skills in their science, in their social studies, in their math and other subject areas. In other words, the Common Core requires students to be able to read and think like a scientist in science, for example, or a mathematician in mathematics. Uh, so this means that there is need to provide a rigorous curriculum in disciplinary literacy, starting at the earlier grades. Uh, this might mean then a need to focus intervention efforts that are targeted to those needs in the, some of those specific disciplinary areas um, in terms of how students access content um, in, in a more disciplinary approach. So again, science thinking in science reading. In math, for example, a student that's in seventh grade 
you know, will be asked to solve like a multi-step real life mathematical problem and assess maybe the reasonableness of their answers. But they have to be able to read and understand that mathematical language first. Um, and maybe not first, but certainly along with learning the concepts um, in math, they also have to be able to read and understand the vocabulary and the terminology in math. So those are areas where teachers would want to know where the gaps are. Breaking down a standard and assessing the skills that students must have to master that standard really helps teachers identify it and target gaps in order to close them. In RTI, Universal Screening and Progress Monitoring provides kind of that ongoing current data to drive effective change in an instructional program. Additionally, form other formative assessments like classroom assessments, benchmark assessments, provide avenues for multiple data sets and that's necessary to determine truly where gaps are. These data can be used to determine the level of support and intervention that a student or group of students might need to close a learning gap in a specified amount of time. And in RTI, this support is provided in what we call a multi-level prevention system. So the National Center on Response to Intervention defines the multi-level prevention system as primary level, which is your core instruction, core first instruction in the general classroom, secondary uh, level, which is your supplemental instruction, and the tertiary level, which is your more tar intensive and individual supports for students. Within each of these levels, teachers provide multiple and varying tiers of uh, supports to students. This is really not a linear process, it's a very cyclical process um, using data. So uh, the ongoing data collection and analysis helps teachers to really feel confident about what they're teaching, feel confident in knowing that they are really focusing their efforts on the needs of their students within a classroom. And that's why differentiated instruction, for example, is so important in a core classroom because that's one way of ensuring that once we're providing all of the um, standards to all of our students, but we are really dif differentiating so we can target the, the gaps again that some students might have. Principles key to RTI implementation identified by the National Center on RTI include, again, research-driven instructional practices and strategies, use of multiple measures, both formal and informal data, to determine the current skill level of students or groups of students. So depending on the uh, intensity of the gap that students have, then schools using the RTI framework can respond with more intensive levels of support and really, again, close the gap in a timely manner. And that timely manner is certainly important in terms of the common core because we know these learning progressions from grade, grade level to grade level are so important in ensuring, again, that students graduate ready for college and career. Uh, the RTI framework implemented effectively and consistently helps make it easier for teachers to know when their students are behind and in what specific areas they are experiencing this gap in learning. So with the new rigorous demands of the Common Core State Standards, I think it's imperative that schools identify and the gaps and help students be successful utilizing the RTI framework really with fidelity, with sound understanding of the approach and with fidelity I think can close the gap and help, or most of the gaps, and help our students succeed really well on the common core state standards. Mm -hmm.